File this under something to keep an eye on as law enforcement keeps doing its work on the Boston Marathon bombing last week. Now, I want to give you the initial caveat here that nobody has any idea if this is in fact connected to the Boston bombing suspects or not. But you should know about this in case it is. Um, there's currently an unsolved triple murder in the Boston area. And it turns out that unsolved triple murder has an odd and seemingly coincidental connection to one of the two marathon bombing suspects, to the older brother who was killed late Thursday night in a shootout with police. Again, file this under one to know about, although we do not know if they are connected. Here's what we do know. This is a map of the greater Boston area. Boston proper, of course, is where the marathon bombings took place last week. Cambridge is where the main suspects in this case had been living, the Tsarnaev brothers. Watertown, right next door to Cambridge, was the scene of the mass shootout with police that took place on Thursday night. Watertown is also where the younger of the two suspects was found hiding in a boat late on Friday night. Right next to Watertown is a city called Waltham. Waltham is sort of a technology and education hub in the Boston area. But in September 2011, uh, so about a year and a half ago, Waltham was the site of a really grisly murder. It was a triple murder that took place in a quiet residential neighborhood on a dead-end street. Sources tell News Center 5 the victims, men all in their late 20s or early 30s, were stabbed to death with a knife or possibly an ice pick, and drugs were involved. The triple homicide is a major shock in this quiet neighborhood, home to many families. Investigators worked through the night, collecting evidence. They towed away this Mercedes, which may hold some answers to this murder mystery. They went to the second floor and uh, saw a very graphic crime scene. Uh, there are three dead bodies in the apartment. It does look like the assailants and the decedents uh, did know each other. So, quiet neighborhood in the Boston area, three men dead, no immediate suspects, but investigators believe that the killer or killers knew the victims. Again, this was September 2011. A year and a half later now, there have still been no arrests in this case. This triple murder is still an open investigation. Two of the three victims in that murder were young men who lived nearby in Cambridge, Mass. The third victim was the person whose apartment that was in Waltham, a 25-year-old named Brendan Mess. It was Brendan Mess's girlfriend who arrived home in Waltham that day and found those three dead bodies and found the apartment just covered in blood. Brendan Mess was a local mixed martial arts fighter in Waltham. He had become friends with another man in the area who was about his same age, who was a boxer, who was a really good boxer, a boxer named Tamerlan Sarnayev. And some of the first reporting on Tamerlan Tsarnaev that came out late last week after the bombing. The murder of his close friend, Brendan Mess, was described as really the only tragedy that we knew of of his life in America. It was described as maybe one of the turning points in his life. But that murder is not solved. The thing that was notable about that crime in Waltham, that triple murder, I mean, obviously it's notable it was an unsolved triple murder. That itself is notable. But the, but the other thing that was notable about this crime is that it was a particularly brutal crime scene. These were three fit, capable young men killed with stabbing injuries to their necks. And this murder was apparently drug-related, but not in the way that drug-related crimes are usually drug-related. There was a, a girl running out of the house. Um, saying there's blood everywhere and um, there's like marijuana all over the bodies apparently. Marijuana all over the bodies. One of the three victims in that murder had been charged with marijuana possession and the intent to distribute a few years earlier. But this has always been one of the strangest details about this crime. I mean, a drug-related murder usually means that drugs were stolen, drugs were fought over in some way, and maybe that did happen there in that apartment in Waltham as well. But it has always been a strange detail of that crime that marijuana was left strewn all over the bodies, and $5,000 in cash was left at the scene untouched. Again, nobody has any idea if this unsolved triple murder in Waltham is connected to the Boston Marathon bombing suspects, other than the reported and possibly totally coincidental close friendship between the older of the two bombing suspects and one of the men who was killed in that murder. In terms of the drug-related murder and the, and the pot angle, the, this thread of connection, if there's anything here, is a gossamer thread. But drugs have come up in reporting over the last week in terms of understanding how the bombing suspects lived. 
One of the things reported since the bombings about Tamer Lansarnaev, the older one, is that at some point in recent years, as he got more and more religious, he began to turn against drinking and smoking and against smoking pot in particular. His mother said he began to push those beliefs on his family members as well. Tamerlan's younger brother, Jokar, the other suspect, college friends who knew him say that he suddenly turned against marijuana over the last year after having smoked a lot of it regularly up until then. For people who knew him, there were no warning signs. Andrew describes an average college sophomore who played intramural soccer, enjoyed FIFA soccer video games, and smoked a lot of marijuana. How often do you think he was doing it? Probably every day. But you said this year you didn't see him smoking pot as much. No. I, I think he told me from one of our conversations, he's like, oh, I don't smoke anymore. So we have two brothers, both of whom have re recently sworn off marijuana. And we have a triple murder that appears to be somehow related to drugs in which marijuana has been spread over the three dead bodies at the crime scene. And $5,000 cash is left untouched. And again, nobody knows if there is a connection beyond the coincidental connection between these two crimes, beyond the friendship between one of those victims and one of the bombing suspects. Locally, there are new questions being raised about that murder in the Waltham Press. Questions being raised by people who have been involved in that investigation. The possible connection between the older suspect in the bombing case and the unsolved murder in Waltham went national today with the website BuzzFeed running a very provocative piece on it. And in terms of any official response, the Middlesex County District Attorney's Office, who has been investigating the Waltham murder, it's interesting, they're not shooting down the idea that there could be a connection. They're sort of saying the minimum that they can say at this point without saying much. But they are saying they are looking into a possible connection. They are checking for any connections between Tamerlan Sarnayev and this unsolved triple murder. The connections between these two crimes may be just coincidental. There's no reason at this point to say that it is more. But as the DA looks into this further, watch this space.